Welcome back, everybody. Listen, ever since I started reacting to Love Bites and Bandmade, I've been getting requests for another band. I've never heard of them, but the requests are pretty consistent, and this particular song is pretty re consistently requested. So we're going to dig in and take a look at these guys. And for those of you who give a shit, uh, this week marks my four-year anniversary of not drinking. And if you knew me from my past world, uh, you knew I drank quite a bit. So anyway, I got a funny story about my drinking days. If you care about it, it's toward the end of the video. Stick around and let's dig into this song. So the band today we're going to be dealing with is called Nightwish. And the song that's been requested is called Ghost Love Score. And most people requested the Wacken 2013 version, live version. It's their official live version. I did a little bit of research. Um, and that's, the band is from Finland. And they've gone through a lot of personnel changes over the years. They've been very successful. They sold a lot of records. Um, the current iteration includes this female singer. Her name is Floor. Interesting name. Floor Jansen, I believe. and. So I, maybe there's the tie-in between these other bands, a female singer. I'm not sure. I uh, don't know anything about them, really. Uh, and forgive me, all you haters out there who say, you know, do your research and blah, blah, blah. Hey, listen, man, I got a life. I, I don't have time to do too much research. I'm here to learn about new music and share it with people. That's what I'm here for. I'm just an old fart listening to music. So anyway, let's check out this song. I'm really excited about it. So. Ghost Love Score from Nightwish by request. Here we go. Okay. All right. I see some similarities there with Asami. Kind of an operatic sound, um, heavy metal background, background with an operatic singer. Okay. I'm getting it. She looks like a girl who you'd see uh, at the Renaissance Fair um, with a, a bird, on, a, a falcon on her shoulder and uh, doing an archery display or demonstration. <laughs> Good looking lady. Great outfit. <laughs>
Right, she softened her voice a bit here. I love the counterpoint with the driving rock sound in the background and the nice trilling opera sound at the top. I don't know. I, I do. I do like this for sure. does have a very music score, you know, movie score um, feel to it. It's very dramatic. A lot of strings, or synthesized strings. Taking us on a journey. Build up. What are we doing?
Jesus. I really like that, man. That was great. What a voice on that lady. Uh, she showed us, I mean, I'm sure she has a lot more than she showed us, but I saw three distinct singing types. She had her more operatic, thin voice. She had a, a more relaxed uh, rock voice. And then she had a growl, too, that I, I can't wait to see more of that. I'll bet she's got some killer tunes. And so in the uh, comments, please leave me some more because I'd like to do some more of this, uh, this band. I'm going to guess that the main people are the keyboard player, at least like founding members, the keyboard player, because this is very synth heavy music. And also that guitar player uh, who shut down the, the song at the end. I have a feeling those two are founding members. I can't say for sure. And then I think they're all happy with Floor on vocals because what a voice, man. I love her and what a great outfit. They have a very um, medieval uh, look about them, mysterious, um, dark and ancient and whatever. That's their thing, I guess. But uh, the crowd certainly was digging it. They knew all the words and everything else, crowd surfing. And uh, yeah, interesting, interesting band. Thank you very much for that suggestion. Now, uh, as I promised at the beginning, uh, like I said, this week marks my four years of sobriety, and I'm not real thrilled with it. I mean, I, <laughs> I'd like to be drinking again, but I'm not. So a funny story about my drinking days. This goes way back. Now, I started drinking a very long time ago. This was from my college days, and I've told this story on one other video, but very few people watched it, so I'm going to tell it again because you probably haven't heard it. But my friends and I uh, got word that there was a kegger party, and we were going to go to this kegger party. And so four or five of us piled into a car, and we went to this kegger party, and they had a live band. And I'm a bass player of sorts, and I remember seeing this dude's white Rickenbacker bass, and I just fell in love. and. Uh, it was great to watch them and I was drinking, drinking, drinking. So fast forward a couple of hours and I'm ripped out of my gourd and I can remember just bits and pieces of this, but I do remember standing in a circle of people, a bunch of guys and all of these people in front of me, I did not know. I just met them, I guess, or ran into them at the party and as the story goes, and as I kind of remember it, at one point, I'm talking to the guy who's right across from me in this little circle, and I'm saying, punch me in the face. Come on, man. Punch me in the face. I won't feel it. Come on. Punch me in the face. <laughs> and you know what he did? He punched me in the face and knocked me right to the ground. And I got up, and I'm kind of disoriented. I'm like, I didn't even know who hit me. Uh, but I'm like, what the fuck? What'd you do that for? What, who, you know, who did that? Why'd you do that? Anyway, I bring that story up because I know a lot of you are kids that are out there watching and listen, man, alcohol, no good. <laughs> Stay away from it. It's not, not good for you. And you do stupid things. Anyway, thank you so much for uh, joining me and, uh, we'll see you on the next one. I'll be checking the comments and thanks for stopping by.